Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Savannah. I'm the owner and maker of Timlin with Savannah. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a rhinestone tumbler using the scatter method. Now, I am not an expert in rhinestone tumblers. This is my only, like the only second one that I've ever done. But I think they're super cute and really fun to do. Um, I don't know if I would ever sell these because they take too much time, but let's go ahead and get started. So I got my rhinestones from Down Glitter Holler on Etsy. Um, I just got three different sizes. And then I have just prepped and spray painted a 10 ounce stubby from Craft Haven. Um, and I just did that in a flat black spray paint. Let that completely dry. And then I'm taking the smallest stone that I've got and I'm gonna do one line around the top rim of the tumbler. Um, from all the videos that I've watched, this is just what they do, just to get a good even line um, and start at the top. So I'm using liquid fusion glue here and I'm just gonna make one thin line all the way around the top rim of the tumbler. And if I had had like a um, needle nose tip bottle, that would have been really helpful, um, but I just, didn't feel like buying one and so I just kind of smoothed this out with my finger if it was like if I like pushed out too much glue with the bottle that the glue come in. Okay so I'm just going to take my little um, jewel picker here. I just got this on Amazon. It was super cheap. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is just put your first line of stones, um, in a straight line up at the top. This is pretty cut and dry. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, super easy. Really like doing these. Um, it didn't take me too, too long to do this one. The first one I did was like a 20 ounce skinny and I swear it took me like two weeks to finish. This one I got down, done in just a couple of days. I think it took me about four or five hours. So these are very labor intensive. Well, not labor intensive, but time intensive. Um, but, you know, put a show on Netflix, chill out, relax. It'll go by pretty fast. Once your top one is completely done and all of your beads or your um, rhinestones are straight, you're going to let that dry um, for about two hours. Um, when You don't want to do it while your glue is still wet because we're going to be pushing some stones up against the other ones. So for the scatter method, the, all that means is you just take various signs various sizes of stones um, and mix them together and kind of put them together like a puzzle piece so that's what we're gonna do just mixing those up and then I'm just going to take a little small section and apply some of my glue to it and then just apply the rhinestones this is kind of just like a puzzle like I said you just kind of have to like you don't want it to be too perfect you know don't make the same thing um, lay different size stones next to each other and just see where, you know, it looks good.
so this was about an hour working on it um i did this laying in my bed just watching tv um so pretty good progress for an hour that's all i'm gonna do tonight um this is the next day i worked on it for about another hour so we're about two hours in at this point and this is a couple of days later i've worked on this for another probably two hours or so um i didn't really time myself i just timed myself on that first part and that took me like an hour and i worked in about the same similar size sections each time so i figured it took me about an hour for each section and i probably did four sections so yeah my favorite part is finishing up you are just on a race to the finish line here um you know i tend to work a little bit faster um toward the end because i just want to get it done one thing i forgot to do on this one is i forgot to make that same size line like we did at the top on the bottom so the bottom looks a little bit messy but um you know this is the tumbler that i'm just going to keep for myself so it's okay but if you start selling these for your customers just do your two lines of the same stone at the top and the bottom just so your you know your two sides of it are uniform After you get all of your stones on there, just follow your glue adhesives. Cure times, mine was 24 hours, I think. Um, I probably let it sit for a good two to three days. Then I took it to my sink and cleaned it up with some dish soap and water. Don't be afraid to scrub these stones and get them nice and cleaned up. And I just finished off the bottom with some foil flakes. So yeah, super happy with this. Absolutely love it. Thought it was super cute. Um, if you have any tips or tricks, let me know because I'm not an expert and I can't wait to see what you make. We'll see you again soon. If you like this video, you can check out our last one here and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. We're all over the place and I'd love to see you over there. Thanks so much for watching.